I'd now like to introduce Jean Chaudhary, who is the uh, member of the Native American Heritage Preservation Council. The essence of man is to understand what humanity is all about. Looking back in the year of 1986, when negotiations were being taken that this land was going to be exchanged. 87, when our President Reagan wrote into an executive order that indeed this land will be exchanged for property out of Florida. 1988, it came out in the paper, April of 1988, that the decision of forever losing this piece of property was going to go to the conference table. Let me share with you the spirit and the will of community people. You heard the names of all the dignitaries. You heard the names of people. And you also heard the wonderful music of the Indian children that played the band reflecting the children that went to school here and the drums that is the sound of god that is the sound of the spirituality of the native american indian in 1988 we as native people did not say oh we cannot fight congress we cannot fight anyone in 1988 it took the energy of our friends standing out there, Indians and non-Indians, in their beat of car, liking gas, running out of gas money, writing to Congress overnight, we send out 1,500 letters. In less than three years, over 100,000 letters. Many of you know our stories, and our story has yet to be told. Today, I honor my Indian children who went to school here. Some of them lonely, some of them never seeing their parents. Some of our ways is to give a burning ceremony when our children die. Some of our ways is to lay our loved ones on scaffold. Many of our Indian children died without the warmth of the parents embracing them and to say, I love you, even in the next hour. For them, we must have this heritage park because our sound, the sound of God, sounds throughout the whole universe. We will not stop as Native American Indians. We are the unsung heroes. We are the nameless. We are the unknown Indians. But we made 21 promises back in 1988 in saying we'll call for congressional hearing and change the idea of this land exchange. And we also, through our congressional leaders, we got a congressional hearing. We said that we will have uh, sound out to the public at large. Our friends, Indians and non-Indians, walk with us. Today, I stand before you humbly. The only thing going for those faithful volunteers is the shroud of righteousness. <laughs> the righteousness of believing that Indians and non-Indians through cultural diversity will bring about unity. We are responsible whether we are part of the political entities, whether we're part of the tribal entities. We must never forget that some of our children were kidnapped and brought to these schools. But by the same token, we must never forget that our prominent Native American Indian leaders emerged from this God-sent earth. I thank y'all for coming. Today, I wish I could run out there and hug each one of you. Our job is only beginning. 21 unbroken promises made by Native American Indians. Please pass that commitment. Join us. Join us. We've got a long ways to go. Under Mayor Paul Johnson's administration, they had the wisdom to see that this should reflect the beauty of all culture. I thank you and blessings to all my relatives. May we work in unity in the name of humanity. Thank you.